This is tutorial 7, question number 8. We continue with linear model in least squares. In this question, it differs from the previous question 7 because now we are given an equation with uh, extra terms uh, x squared. So in the previous example, our linear model was simpler. We only have beta 0 plus beta 1 times x. In this question, we now have an extra term beta 2 times x squared. Remember, x is the independent value and y is the dependent value. We have two different y's. One is y clean and y noisy. Let's now describe what is y clean. y clean is described by this equation and y noisy is y clean plus some n where n is some random noise with mean 0 and stand for noise. We have seven different axes x from minus 3, minus 2 until 3. To produce y clean, what we does what we did was y clean is equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 times x plus beta 2 times x squared. Now uh, for the questions we set beta 0 to be 1, beta 1 to be minus 0 0.2 and beta 2 to be plus 0 0.3. What about the x? The x would be from minus 3, minus 2 until plus 3 and we substitute into these two to get 7 values of y clean. So you can see how we have estimated oh sorry evaluated this y clean y clean is simply plugging in beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 into this equation along with the different axes what about n well uh, we we generated some little n seven of them again and then now what we did was y clean plus n to get y noisy so uh, how to get y noisy is simply adding this value, the y clean, plus this value. So in this case, it's 1 minus 0 0.1977. We get 0 0.8023. That's all. So now we know how to get x, clean, x y clean, n, and y noisy. The question asks us to find beta clean using x and y clean beta noisy using x and y noisy. Let us see how we're going to do it. The theory is like this. Generate your data or design matrix with three columns. 1, 1, 1, 1. Seven of them for the, representing the seven entries. The second one is for x, the third one, the column will be for x squared. So the second column will begin with minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. It is this x. What about x squared? To have this term, it will be minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. Minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, and 9. So this is the design matrix. It will be multiplied with beta 0, beta 1, beta 2. And for the y, we just record these values from y clean. So the first value of y clean is 4.3, the second is 2.6. 1.5 and so on until the last one is 3.1 we have x beta equals to y and now we can solve for beta clean because this is y clean this is the design matrix x and this is beta clean now beta clean uh, because we have known that the the we have put it the value by ourselves, it should be 1 minus 0 0.2, 0 
and in fact when we solve for it beta clean will come out to be exactly this because the system of equations is consistent all right let us see how we do it in MATLAB now for MATLAB uh, the idea is that you should learn how to use a tool in the exams we will not ask you to write MATLAB questions but let's see how we are doing going to do it first is clear all means clear all the variables in MATLAB set the random number generator seed to be one so that we can always repeat uh, what is the random number that will be generated we set x to be from minus 3 uh, to plus 3 instead of 1 we evaluate y clean using this equation so you will see that the x square is here 0 0.3 is the parameter for x square minus 0 0.2 is the parameter for x and 1 is the parameter for beta 0 so from here we know beta 0 is 1 beta 1 is minus 0 0.2 and beta 2 is plus 0 0.3 we have created the y clean using these equations and so we have this form we generated the noise and we get the y noisy from y clean plus the noise now I plot x and y clean x and y noisy so this will be in blue this will be in red and let us see the figures the crosses are the points where we have the x's and the y's so the blue line in between is just a MATLAB drawing and basically a line through all the points for you doesn't exist all right what about the red one the red one uh, for example this is x equals to minus one uh, the y is one where is it so actually if you look at the table later on you realize that x is minus 1 here y is 1 for the noisy anyway this forms the design matrix uh, studied well so that you can see that actually the design matrix is a 7 by 3 uh, rectangle matrix so the first column the second column of x and the third column of x okay the first column of x is all one the second column of x takes from the x array the third column of x takes from uh, the third, co uh, third column of x square all right we then solve for beta clean in this way so beta clean is equals to x transpose x the the code here stand for transpose in MATLAB inverse can you see the inverse here and x transpose y what about beta noisy beta noisy is here this is the equation beta noisy is different to the beta clean only by x transpose x inverse x transpose y noisy so on top is y clean and the bottom is y noisy the found x beta are here beta clean is exactly as what we have put in into this equation beta noisy is different to the beta clean uh, because why well it is actually solving a different curve right so it's obvious now it's solving a different curve and the and the curves does not cross the or it doesn't exactly match the crosses of the noisy this is because uh, it's trying the best it can do uh, and is balancing between different errors so this is the curve we found for beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 for the noisy case now in the third part of sorry in the second part of the question it asks us why is beta noisy not the same as beta clean uh, and also why uh, the, the what do you call that the the red curve doesn't pass exactly across all the red crosses and the reason is this uh, the noisy case is the equation originally plus the noise uh, this this uh, this generate a system of inconsistent equation because when we solve for betas 
uh, the system of equations are inconsistent so we cannot get the perfect beta to model this because of this random noise and uh, what we found beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 is the best parameters uh, best in the sense of the least squares error sense to approximate the problem right that's all